seven months ago, I made this. Being pretty new to game development at the time, let's just say it's missing some features. Shit. Because the original is a jumble of spaghetti code and questionable design decisions, I decided to scrap it and make a new actual game that I can actually let other people play. Requirements. At least three playable maps. At least the five original towers from Balloon's Tower Defense 1. Upgraded and unupgraded. Upgrades to your own balloon. And it must not suck. 15 minutes after I got started, I had a much smoother movement system than last time. Seriously, the other one was terrible. I'm just pressing A and D here. Now let's do the maps. I'm actually going to make BTD 6 maps this time. The first one is Monkey Meadow. Last time the art style was pretty inconsistent, so I decided to buy an asset pack. And after a whole hour, just the stones are done. I did this with everything. Every stone, flower, and tree is placed exactly like it is in Monkey Meadow. Doing this was deeply, deeply unpleasant. As for the edge of the map, the simplest option was to make it into an island. The next map I chose to make is Hedge. This one was much easier. I placed some hedges around, added some bushes and flowers, and created a base for the statue. For that, I just got a monkey model, turned it grey, and gave it a sus pose. And lastly, I made Town Center, which had even more stones and flowers to place than Monkey Meadow. Pretty conveniently, there's sea in this map as well, so we can make it into an island too. I'm pretty happy with how these have turned out. It's time to work on the towers. I started with the Dart Monkey and just copied the code from the original over. You'd think it would be that simple, but no. The idle animation is broken, the dart for some reason is invisible, and it's, it's calling me a dummy. I got it working, and now the darts it's shooting are absolutely huge. I eventually got it working properly, and for the upgraded version, I decided on a free 2 Dart Monkey. I didn't know the monkeys also get a massive massive dump truck as they get upgraded. It's making me blush, man. I got the triple shot working eventually. I only had to do some minor vector calculations to get the proper shooting angle from all sides. It's no big deal, except I haven't done this since maths class seven years ago. Next, I hooked up a super monkey with some bones and animations and got him to shoot a dart, which was hitting the balloon. But where's the dart? Oh, okay. For the upgraded Super Monkey, I made the Plasma Shooter, which has projectiles with much larger hitboxes that are unaffected by gravity. The Tax Shooter should also be easy. I copied the code over from the last game, and besides the fact it shot upwards for some reason, it worked great. Then I made a Tack model and applied it. Let's see if it shoots Tax now. What? Anyway, I decided on the tax sprayer as a harder variation, so you can still actually dodge it, as opposed to the ring of fire, which you just screwed. I made it shoot faster with double the tax of the level 1 version. For the bomb shooter, I found a bomb model online, hooked it up to a bomb shooter model, and gave it a cool explosion. I kinda like the idea of cluster bombs, so that's going to be the level 2 version. And this not only worked first time, but it also turned out awesome. The ice monkey took a bit longer, because I couldn't find this clap animation anywhere. I ended up using this animation instead, which is supposed to be like an ouch my back hurts kind of gesture. I also gave it cool particle effects. Get it? Get it? The level 2 ice monkey also has arctic wind, which slows you in an aura around where the white particles are. Since making the five towers went pretty quickly, I thought I'd make like a final boss type tower. I made the model for the base myself, but I kind of suck at making stairs, so there's none of those. Then I gave it a head, made a cool projectile like the one the sun god shoots in Bloom's tower defense, and added it. It looks pretty awesome. I realized I actually used the wrong projectile. The real one would be too easy to dodge, so I kept this one. I placed some map boundaries, so you can't just walk where the towers will be spawned gave the level a start and end point, and mapped out every possible tower spawn point in all three maps. I had some trouble with it, but eventually I managed to make an AI spawn towers somewhat intelligently around the track. In the final round, the sun god spawns. Let's bring the attention to the balloon itself. I made a health system so the balloon can go from red all the way to ceramic. Like in the real game, black and zebra balloons are unaffected by bombs, and zebra balloons are unaffected by ice too. These three are the upgrades you can get at the moment. It definitely needs some balancing. Regrow is quite OP. I also gave the player five lives. I had an idea to download the actual font used in Balloon's Tower Defense and use that across my UI instead. I think it looks much more like a Balloon's Tower Defense game. The last thing I did was add some sound effects and the soundtrack that my friend made for me that's made to sound like the Balloon's Tower Defense soundtrack. Now let's try the game out. Let's go for town center. I went for a regrow first upgrade. We got a bomb shooter start, and of course, I lost a life right away. I built a black and then zebra balloon as fast as possible because more bomb shooters and ice monkeys kept popping up. Then I focused on regrow so we would get our bomb invulnerability back quickly if we lost it. After this, I put my focus on the final round, building speed up until round 14, and then saving up money for as many health upgrades as possible because I would need it if I wanted any chance of getting past the center. 
temple. Of course, I lost a life as soon as round 20 started. I bought all the health and charged. Got frozen instantly and bursted down. The next life, I thought I could wait behind this house and regenerate. The lesser towers were doing too much damage, so I died again. It was down to my final life. I decided to just book it straight across the entire level without stopping. And what do you know? It worked. I hid behind this house with only one stretch to go, and we did it. If you'd like to play the game, the link is in the description. A quick shout out to Trinity and Homer Sims, who made some awesome art for our Discord server. Links to their socials will be in the description. And as usual, subscribe, or Monkey will get it.